we even have time. Hey, that might be it. Look at that, Mike. Look at that on the screen. Holy cow. Look at that thing. I think it's a rain shaft, but... We may not have time for the drone, do we? Right now we've got a possible QLCS circulation in there. You can see that dark area, very heavy rain, rapid left to right motion in there at the very least. That is some cons uh, very de definitely dangerous straight line winds, maybe even a QLCS tornado. You can see the shelf cloud that's ejecting off to the south. Big mega shelf. It's even trying to pull in a streamwise vorticity current on the north side. That's a, uh, a horizontal vorticity roll that's trying to get pulled in. Not sure if we're gonna launch the drone just because of... Hey, Mike, look at that thing. Look at that. Yeah, we may not have time. You just pop in the back seat. Whoa. It's like a streamlined vorticity current gets pulled in. Wind bag right there. Maybe even a QLCS event. Mega shelf above us. Look at the mega shelf. Surge out. Wow. This is a, a Glencoe. I think there's a circulation in this. Look at that. It's wrapped up on radar, but that is where the circulation would be. It's bulging out aloft. Streamwise vorticity current coming in. Mega shelf ejecting out. This thing is insane. Look at that over there, Brian. You can almost hear it, hear the roar. Look at that. This might be debris over there. Possible debris, Mike! Pretty sure we can hear that. Yeah, it looks like something, right? Yeah, it does. <laughs> it's rain curtains and possible debris. Looks like a QLCS circulation to me. Hear it? Hear the wind? Holy cow! Look at that! It is spinning in there! Oh! Oh! Ah! Yeah. Back that way because it looked like it was trying to get some debris on the ground even. Here comes the westerlies. Holy Man, cow. That came fast. That hail just. Yeah. Damn. Behind us is back there, I think. It looked like there was debris coming into town back behind us. I guess it'll cross behind us now, so this will be good here. Ouch. I'm really sure where it's going to go, but that's a big wind bag. off to the north side, bringing with it the potential of strong damaging winds and even an isolated tornado within the elbow. It's not a coincidence that the only tornado warning is right in the elbow of that convective line. I'm live heading northeast toward Pipestone, Minnesota, and we have a supercell storm that is heading northeast toward Sioux Falls right now. 
Uh, it is gradually organizing. It has broad rotation right now, uh, but a PDS tornado watch has been issued ahead of that convective line. That's a particularly dangerous situation, tornado watch, high end probabilities for the entire tornado watch. And that basically includes central northern Minnesota all the way down to near the I-90 corridor. It's a little bit northeast of there, but a tornado watch does include southwestern Minnesota as well. Uh, but right now we are tracking a supercell storm that continues to organize. It's lifting up through Sioux Falls. That convective line is starting to move into southwestern Minnesota as well. And supercells are gonna continue to develop along that bulging boundary. And any supercell storms that are able to interact with the warm frontal zone that is lifting northward into central Minnesota will have the potential of producing strong, even potential long track tornadoes and that's why we have this PDS tornado watch which is a particularly dangerous situation tornado watch. I believe that this could be the first PDS tornado watch of the season. We've had a couple tornado watches that were close. We may have had a couple of the mid-south early on but this is one of the highest end tornado watches in terms of probabilities for impactful severe weather that we've had yet so far this season. EF3, EF4 tornadoes, strong to violent tornadoes are very possible. We've got an arc of renegade supercells that are gonna be lifting northeast through southwestern Minnesota, eventually into the central portion of the state. So very dangerous afternoon and evening are ahead. Tornado outbreak has already begun. We've already had a couple of tornado reports within the squall line off to the north, but these renegade supercells, as they mature, they're gonna be long track. Uh, they're gonna be very impactful, producing very large hail and very dangerous tornadoes as well. I can't stress enough how important it is to stay tuned to those watches and warnings. If you're in the Southwest or central Minnesota area, or even down the dry line all the way into Eastern Kansas, there could be isolated development of supercell storms capable of all hazards as well. So stay safe, a very dangerous day has already begun in terms of severe weather and uh, possibly dozens of tornadoes uh, confirmed when it's all said and done.